Hello, everybody. I hope you are having a great Wednesday, and welcome back to another episode of Our Ocean World Wednesday. My name is Elise, and I'm a third year here at UC Santa Barbara. One of my favorite things about going to school here is that we're right on the coast. In my free time, I really like to go free diving with some of my friends. Before I struggle to put my wetsuit on, though, I like to check Blue Water Task Force's website and see what the water quality is. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be swimming in water with a bunch of germs. I've actually noticed that water quality is usually worse after it rains. Do you guys know why this is? Today, we're actually going to explore how the water cycle that Alia talked about last week can affect the water around us. So let's get started. As you may have learned, surface runoff is when water is not absorbed by the ground, but instead flows over the surface of the earth. The movement of surface runoff is directed by gravity. But why does water not absorb into the ground? If you were to pour a glass of water onto the sidewalk and then another glass onto the grass, what would happen? The water on the sidewalk would form a small puddle, while the water poured onto the grass will disappear. This is because the ground can absorb water, while a cement sidewalk cannot. Put another way, cement is an impermeable surface. When precipitation falls onto surfaces like concrete, surface runoff occurs. On the other hand, soil can absorb water up to a certain point, but eventually it becomes so saturated or full with water that it can't absorb anymore. This also results in surface runoff. So where does this water go? In urbanized areas, such as cities or neighborhoods, water flows off of impervious surfaces and into drains, which eventually lead to bodies of water. In areas with less development, water can flow into streams, which eventually leads to lakes or oceans. These sources of water can be extremely important. For example, Lake Oroville supplies water to places all over California. This includes Santa Barbara County. In January, this lake released water at 2,500 cubic feet of water per second. That's roughly 312 bathtubs of water per second. That's a lot of baths. As you've hopefully learned, surface runoff is an important result of precipitation because it contributes to sources of fresh water. Unfortunately, runoff can have negative effects on the community when it runs over certain areas. In order to learn more about the relationship between runoff and humans, go ahead and click the link to our next episode and I'll see you there.